Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Today, um, the Cameroon Association for the Protection and Education of the Child will be carrying out a sensitization campaign to stop um, sexual harassment. This is a know common in school, and that is why we are here today. To make sure we talk to the teachers both the male and female teachers and to stop it from happening in Nous avons chi de la loi du péché de la mort Il n'y a donc aucune condamnation pour ceux qui sont en Jésus-Christ La loi de l'esprit de vie en Jésus Nous a franchi de la loi du péché de la mort Quand on est en Christ, on est une nouvelle créature Les choses anciennes sont passées, voici toutes choses sont faites nouvelles Christ en nous mes frères, l'espérance de la gloire Si Dieu est pour nous Thank you very much. I happen to be a teacher myself, and uh, of course, I deal with children. Before being a, uh, a head teacher, I was a teacher in the class, and uh, we are aware of all of those things that are happening. And I think all we need to do among the children is to. Uh, sensitize them for the negative aspect of what is happening around them because it's a mixed school where you have boys and girls and with the technology put in place they see things that you and I may not have seen or I wouldn't have seen in my own days and so they just need to be sensitized and talked about it and to see them know the, the, the side effects of anything that they are doing. The principles, rules and regulations which are guiding both the pupils, the students, the learners, the teachers, and they should be clearly stated. And then, equally, there should, should be more of orientation, guidance, the counsel should be done to the teachers and also to the pupils on the dangers of harassing someone sexually, the effect, make them know that it is something it is against the law, with that, they will shy away from that. And then, I think the teachers, uh, they should also, uh, the teachers be aware of the fact that when it comes to sexual relationship, they should not disclose that amongst themselves in the school. They should do that maybe somewhere else where it cannot affect, they cannot co make others be interested in some kind of sexual stuff which they are not, they don't have the will to do that, they are not ready. So with that, and the content, the language they use in school should be selective. They should not use words like fuck, those words which can bring about uh, the sexual harassment. I'm Madame Tassi Irene. I work with the NGO. talk of sexual harassment. Now, what comes to my mind is the violence of of sexual harassment. The violence of girls and boys. Then, what the the boys do to the girls? They they, for example, they pay them, they can beat them up, and they can, they can scream at them. And they can also hate them, they can also hate them. Because there are some of us that when we walk like that, they will just come and catch you, then they will rape you, and that's all about your life. Okay, the second question. Then, in a school milieu, or be it in a quarter or wherever, if you realize that you are a subject to sexual harassment, what can you do? Adam, you can, you can call on you can call on the police, call on your elder sisters, your neighbors, your cousins, all. And you can go to your guidance counselor, then she will give you advice. <laughs>